Good morning, Southwest Florida. I'm Bree Walling. This Naples Herald Morning Report is sponsored by our friends at East Delokia of Cape Coral. This morning, we'll tell you about Florida's Attorney General seeking to dismiss lawsuits filed over the constitutionality of bump stocks, the Justice Department and the FDA trying to regulate the use of stem cell therapy, and more. Today is Friday, May 11th, and this is the Morning Report. Attorney General Pam Bondi's office is asking a Leon County Circuit judge to dismiss a lawsuit that alleges a recently approved ban on firearm bump stocks is an unconstitutional taking of property. Lawmakers and Governor Scott approved a ban on the devices after the February 14th mass shooting at Broward County's Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School that killed 17 people. Bump stocks make semi-automatic weapons mimic fully automatic firearms and drew widespread attention after a mass shooting last year in Las Vegas. The lawsuit filed in March in Leon County Circuit Court seeks compensation for owners of bump stocks, arguing that the Florida Constitution bars the state from taking private property except for a public person and with full compensation therefore paid to each owner. But a 12-page document argued that the lawsuit should be dismissed, saying that the state can outlaw property that it deems to be dangerous. The ban, which was part of a broader bill dealing with school safety and gun issues, takes effect on October 1st. Federal prosecutors in California and Florida sued on Wednesday to stop two companies from providing stem cell treatments. They alleged the clinics marketed their procedures as remedies for ailments including cancer and heart disease without proof of safety and efficacy. The suit by the Justice Department claims the firms put consumers at risk by promising benefits from the treatments and products never approved by the FDA. The complaint involves cells taken from a patient's own fat tissue. It's a growing practice where practitioners collect the fluid from a patient via liposuction treat it with chemicals, and then inject it back into the body to treat various conditions. The lawsuits target Stem Cell Treatment Center with two locations in Southern California and U.S. Stem Cell Clinic of Sunrise, Florida. The co-director of the California clinics says he stands by his treatments and looks forward to fighting the lawsuit from a government with an outdated view of stem cell research. And Florida's U.S. Stem Cell said in a statement that it would vigorously defend itself in court. The suits were filed at the request of the FDA, who last year laid out a strategy for regulating cell-based medicine. President Trump will meet with North Korea's Kim Jong-un in Singapore on June 12th. With the final details in place, Trump and Kim will meet in the first North Korea-U.S. summit talks since the end of the 1953 Korean War. Kim has suspended nuclear and missile tests and put his nuclear program up for negotiation. But questions remain about how serious his offer is and what disarmament steps he's willing to take. Earlier Thursday, with the American former detainees by his side, Trump said that it was a great honor to welcome the men back into the U.S., but he added that the true honor is going to be if we have a victory in getting rid of nuclear weapons. Trump thanked North Korean leader Kim for releasing the Americans and said he believes Kim wants to reach an agreement on denuclearization at their upcoming summit. Singapore had emerged as the likely host of the summit after Trump yielded to the concerns of his aides and backed off his desire to hold the meeting at the inter-Korea demilitarized zone. And that was the Morning Report for today. I'm Bree Walling. The Morning Report airs Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. right here at NaplesHerald.com. And don't forget to check out our lunch break that also airs Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. Thank you for watching.